I'm not gonna lie to you, TLC, this is it. <laughs> this is the last video I'm doing permanently. I, like, I can't, like my brain hurts every single time I come back. Okay, so maybe I was being a bit over the top when, you know, I said I would never, ever, ever watch any TLC stuff again. Obviously I was emotional. You know, I was, I was coming down with a little flu and I was feeling some type of weight. Let's not talk about it. You know, you, a lot of a lot of time has passed, truly, since I posted that video. Shut your stupid A lot of time. So things change. That That's the only way I could put it. And also in efforts of me becoming more consistent on YouTube, I figured why not risk the biscuit? What do I have to lose? Cause literally nobody trusts me anymore. It's crazy. Cooking a five star meal with the dumpster food. Now, personally on this channel, we've experienced, or at least I have, shoot. We've We've experienced people do dumpster dives for you know a little a little bon appetit. I'm, I'm not sure why it just flies for them. I don't. It's, it's is it considered unironic to have a five star meal, but it be made from dumpster food? I, I don't. I don't see how those two correlate. If one's supposed to be good and the other's supposed to be dog sh But yeah, wait. Well, welcome back to the TLC saga. This is crazy. I feel like I'm in a time loop and I can't get out. Please drop a like on the video. That, that's all I have to say. Let's check it out. Ooh, no, nah, op open toe shoes outside is crazy. I just I just have a, a, a very crazy fear of that because any rocks or debris, just something scrape your leg, it's over. The, you, might, you might as well pack it up. But is he, who, who walks with a pot outside like this? I, I just, I, I'm genuinely curious. Like, is he collecting rainwater? I don't know, this could all be a part of the dish. If he has a plan, we just gonna have to, we gonna have to really stick it out. Hey neighbor, how you doing? Doing good, how are you? Good, good. Can I get some ice from you? So you literally at, in the, in the ass crack of the morning, it's probably like eight, nine in the morning it looks like, and you're asking for ice cubes. This, this is not the best start to a five star meal. If you have to ask for the ingredients, I, I, I'd literally assume that he just found the cheapest way to hook something up, but he already asking for handouts. Oh yeah, we gonna see how this go. It, it, it's, it's already starting. I'll give it a, a score of negative two. Let's see if he pushed the boundary. I have water. You don't have ice? No. Oh, okay. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah, pr because ice is crazy. I mean, anyone can make it from scratch. Again, if you're gonna be this cheap, just, I don't know, collect rainwater. I don't, it's a start. It's a start. I don't wanna be too judgmental because then people get on me and complain. It's just a start, fella. And he seems to already be failing. Hey. How are you? Good. Can I borrow some ice? All right. Well, you, you can't necessarily borrow ice if it's going to be used. I mean, again, we're talking water that just turns into a solid. I'm not giving that back <laughs> because if it turns into a liquid, what am I supposed to do? Put it back in a plastic bag and give it back to you? It's it's up. You give me ice, it's mine. He could have just said, I want ice. You got to start being direct with the neighbors. Like, I appreciate the, the happy attitude he has, but I'm not quite sure this is going to gonna suffice yeah that ice gonna be a little a little a little watery by the time you get to the kitchen but we gonna see oh i appreciate it oh okay i guess she's actually gonna help okay wow wow that's first I'm, i might just bump it up to a negative one let's let's keep tabs it's the best way to get ice without having to pay for it when you don't have a refrigerator oh so you don't even have a refrigerator okay there we go <laughs> we love the honesty now to not have a fridge says a lot again about being cheap because everyone kind of needs a refrigerator if you, you know, plan on keeping perishables and just actually eating normally. But he winging it. Ron's a great neighbor. Uh, he stops and asks to borrow flour, sugar, whatever. A lot. <laughs> yeah, and see, I don't want to make it seem like borrowing things is a big deal. It, it typically isn't. But like, if okay, if, if you really have a neighbor who's just going to ask you 50,000 times within the year to borrow things, they either just might be down bad or might be finessing the block. Considering he only has a negative one score, he might be finessing the block she might be she might have gotten finessed she might cry herself to sleep tonight we don't know he's very frugal oh no nah. oh no nah. she hooked him up did y'all see that bro he don't gotta do not one more trip for the whole rest of the year she gave him a antarctica boatload he he'll do fine he'll do fine i'm a foodie I love everything to do with food. I think people can enjoy a foodie lifestyle on a cheap budget. Every dollar we spend on anything. Oh my goodness, some eggs look a little, 
look, ain't no seasoning. I mean, you, you don't necessarily have to season eggs. I'm let, let me not be fat, but the eggs look a little watery. They look a little oddly shaped. They look, I feel like one of the feathers might get caught in your throat. I don't know, I'm having a hard time digesting this. Other than food is a waste. I got the apartment. Wait, so just not a chair in sight? What is he sitting on? Just a gray tarp, like a paint tarp? Like he has no foundation to go off of whatsoever. Oh my goodness. A few years ago, I don't see the need to spend money on furniture. I'm a floor guy. I sit on the floor and it's very comfortable. Wait, so then why'd you buy a house? This is this is still what it boils down to. If you're gonna buy a home at least, but nothing outside of said home, you'll just buy a home, keep it empty and just live in it. Why not just live outside? Why not just become some sort of like nature? I don't know, a sovereign citizen, if that. Like, and then just eating eggs with your toes out. I don't know, that's just another level of um reality. <laughs> I mean, it's just tossing money into the trash receptacle. That's what I think of furniture. I worked for a cookware company that always puts on displays, presentations, and um, what happens is a lot of manufacturers send me samples of their product. Oh, so you're literally just getting like free boxes of tools. I mean, that's nice, you know, like if you're getting free utensils, I don't consider that cheap. That's just a steal. Again, Mr. Finesse is at a score of negative one. So if he's able to finesse people to live within these means, I I I'll, I'll give it a fair shot. Again, they're choosing to do this. It's not like he went bankrupt. He not spending a quarter. Uh -uh. Oh come on! What is this? A swimming pool full of peanuts? This, I, I I don't even I don't even want to ask. I do not even want to ask. I'm I'm sorry. What I did was I found some two by fours, and these are styrofoam peanuts. I just saw the craziest toenail. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm weird. I'm just observant. I'm gonna go back. I, I want everyone to see this. Oh my goodness. What I did was I found some two by fours. Look at that, look at that, look at that. You could tell he been outside with them rocks. That's why I said you just, wearing open toe shoes is a risk. I don't care how pretty your feet look. The second you go outside with them toes out, it's up. Also, obviously, if you guys didn't know, the two by four, this, this is definitely his bed. This is easily his bed. This is the mattress you decided to make from scratch? Well, I know that spine tangling past midnight. Oh my goodness, I just could not be me, I'm sorry. And these are styrofoam peanuts. So I just take all the peanuts, throw them in there, and then I cover it up with bubble wrap, and then this is a tablecloth. And it makes a perfect bet. Yo, yeah, I knew that. Again, this is, it's not rocket science. I, I i don't know why some YouTubers do come on here and like, they'll just see or hear certain things and <gasps> I'm not gonna just overhype it up. Like we knew this. He has nothing in there, people. Like he does not have an object. Shit, he asked a neighbor to borrow ice cubes. You can't borrow no water molecules. Like just be honest with yourselves. I just hate a liar. That's that's what I hate. If you lie, I'ma call it out. The average cost to furnish a one bedroom house is $2,000. And clothing expenses for a single professional can reach $400 a year. Ron spends a total of $20. Decking out both his hat. There's two shirts in there, a half bottle of travel size lotion and toothpaste. Like the narrator wanna give us just just statistics. I don't care about them, frankly. There's nothing in the house. There's nothing in the house. He has three shirts on weekly rotation and he's choosing to do this. It just seems kind of boring though, ain't it? <laughs> like, I'm, I just, I, I think it seems a bit dull. You know, I don't want to judge him too much, but I'm a judge because what if two of the shirts are just soiled? You, 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 oh, you're going to wing it for a long, a long little bit, a long little bit. Oh, them shirts going, oh, them shirts going to last. House and his closet. One, two, three shirts and two pairs of shorts. And that's it. <laughs> oh my goodness, he is so happy. I love this for him. But I would never love it for myself. I'm gonna just keep that very apparent. I'm just letting y'all know. And that's it. <laughs> and by the way, I own no underwear and no socks. How's y'all day today? You know, like I woke up, had some eggs. I'm sorry, it's not about me. No undies, no socks, cause we saw the toes on display. We we had a we had a front seat concert of them toes. I, I don't even know what, like, I don't even know how to describe it. We just, we definitely didn't have nosebleeds for that experience. And then to have no underwear, there's a lot of people I'm sure who probably don't wear underwear. I'm not gonna make it seem like it's the biggest deal in the world. It's really not too big of an issue, but I'm sure considering you only have what, two pairs of shorts, something getting scratched 
scratched up in there. Something probably going to stick. Just things are going to happen. So then if you walking around the block, just free ball and, and a neighbor says, oh my goodness, what's that stench? And it's your ass. Like these are the things I'm talking about. Do, do you see what I mean? Hopefully things are starting to correlate. I literally complained because I didn't want to do these anymore. And now we're back. I teach cooking classes. You know, when I go to do uh, any kind of demos, I take this all with me. I set up shop and basically do presentations to help people understand that you don't have to have a lot of money to eat well. Hold on, but how can how can they trust you though? Like I understand that, but I feel like a Google search would be able to suffice. If you wanna just find cheap alternatives, on how to be able to cook. I'm sure Google could have just done that. I mean, it's nice that he has a way in which he could teach people, I guess. But considering you literally do not have a refrigerator, you're asking for ice cubes, or he doesn't have socks. I mean, we we saw the toes. He got a foot. We just, I ain't wanna, I ain't wanna see nothing else past that. I'm not really a toe guy. But a cooking class is pretty interesting. I, I, I didn't know that he um had that type of experience under his belt. Again, that's what you say. You can't judge people. You just gotta let them live their life. That's, that's insane, that's insane. And all the clothes still on and it's just that. I remember watching one of these and a guy at least had like a gym membership he would go to and just use their shower. That seems a, a bit more appropriate. You're just outside doing it. And I hope that's not on the way to the cooking class cause you ain't got no undies or socks. Oh, them legs gonna shrivel up like a stripper on a pole. This is, this is a lot. Taking showers outside, washing all my clothes at the same time, saves me so much money. You get to get your shower, you get to get your clothing clean, and you didn't spend a dime. I love it, I love it. Just so carefree, and I feel like a film director, like I'm just capturing the most authentic piece of work imaginable. I mean, I'm seeing some palm trees, whether he's in Arizona, Los Angeles, on the west side, it's so normalized out here, it's ridiculous. So if anything, he is fitting right on in. It warms up after a while. I never care what other people think. Um, they'll look at me and I'll get looks. And you know what? I want to take a shower, but I'm saving a whole lot of money. And what's wrong with that? No, he's 100% right. And and that's why I just give it to him and I let it slide. Because it ain't got nothing to do with me, people. Y'all have to understand when you see stuff on the internet and it's not paying your bills or it's not doing anything to you personally to where if you're getting triggered emotionally, deactivate. No one told you to sign up for the website. So yeah, I 100% I give it to him. You know, I, I might raise the eyebrow or something sitting in my chair. But evidently, people, it's really not that big of a deal. Each time Ron showers and does laundry at the beach, he saves a $1.89 on water, energy, and detergent bills. That's it though? Like a dollar eighty nine like that's it? <laughs> no wonder they call it extreme cheapskates. That's really not too much to go off of, to be honest with you, but if every penny counts and, and this is how much they make it seem it needs to count. We'll just we'll let it count. We, he can free ball his way up to that class and show them people how to make scrambled eggs on the sidewalk, on the on the concrete. That's what it's giving. People in Southern California go to the beach a lot, and the most important thing is they drink wine and they throw sometimes bottles out that contain wine. So what you're telling me is now you're just digging for a wine experience? Like you just, you want, you're gonna rubble through the trash and possibly find a bottle in which people already drunk off of just to, you know, cause you don't wanna waste it. I, I don't know, I, I, I don't know how I feel right now. It's the, it's the sinister laughs. It's it's the fact that he genuinely like you you know I love the happiness oozing out of him. But in the same instance, ladies and gentlemen, you should be not you you should never be that geeked up over finding remains. Us humans are very complicated. If someone had whatever experience they had and decided to throw something in the trash, nine times out of ten, it's in the trash can for a reason. If you want to pick it up and do things with it, kudos to you. But for me, anything could have contaminated it. The second to drop in that trash it's not mine but now it's his so if you go to his house and he's claiming a five-star mac and cheese experience and you taste a little hair or rubble inside of your food blame him do not blame me because i don't even cook i ain't even got no experience in cooking so you can't say shit to me that's just that's just preposterous when i find any i'll pour it into the tube it's going right into the box if you want to go out and have a drink 
you're probably going to be spending at least $10 for a glass of Cabernet or Merlot. You're just going to filter it right back into the main wine box that probably has 25 other flavors of wine just jumbled all in there. This is this is what I'd be referring to. To think about digesting that, you don't know what disease might might just slip out of that. You don't know. Y'all not pH testing it. There's no balance levels to this shit. If you just drink it up, you're just gonna have a. You're just gonna get drunk off off shit. Just gonna get drunk off dirty wine. That's that's what it is. Way of finding wine costs you nothing. I can't think of anything more exciting than getting something for free. These are lamb's quarters. A weed that's completely edible. Fresh cilantro costs about $1.99 a bunch. Popolo is a weed growing all over Los Angeles, and it's known as the summer cilantro. You know, I, I would say I understand picking up, you know, weeds and leaves and stuff like that. It's just, it's not in your backyard or anything. You, there, there would have been no way for you to at least do that in the safety and, like, cleanliness of your own home, even though there's really not any objects in there. I would much rather have it been there than to just be on the sidewalk where people just squat, pee, spit. This is what I'd be talking about. It's the sanitation level that comes with choosing to be cheap. There, there has to be some proper level of cleanliness even though you do not want to spend money. And there's ways around that. They just, they live in as if they don't got nothing. And that's what's weird to me. By picking wild herbs and vegetables growing in the cracks of the street, I would say I save at least $40 a month. Who locks trash? All right, yeah, no, nah, look at that. Just look at that sack of shit. This is what I'm talking about. There should be nothing you need out of here. Now you just, you really, you really dumpster diving. Now it was innocent at first because you ain't had no furniture. You was plopped on that floor. That was fine, right? That, that was a fine piece of work. But now it looks like you're just scavenging for like, you just, you want to get, you want to get sick. You want to get contaminated. You do, you do. And it's okay, just be honest. Again, I hate a liar, bro. If you want to go these lengths, to save money, understandable, but it has to be some level of just sa sanitation. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if you're mentally capable of like making sure the people you feed don't drop to the floor dead. I don't know. Did you? Did people ever think of that alternative? Oh, Excellent. that's disgusting. Oh. oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh man. Uh, um. If you got a weak stomach, <coughs> this segment is not for you. And you know, granted, a lot of people in California do this. This is not new, especially for me, and I'm sure especially for the other pe people who live out here. But like, in his case specifically, he already owns a home. I'm sure he has a few dollars in which his life could be a bit more cleanly, and he can choose to like make cheaper food. But like, no, he. This is this is just. Bottom of the barrel. This is why I said I didn't want to do this because I'll just be getting the headaches, bro. Like, it's like people have a path and they walk down the left path, but I said go right and they still went left. That's on you. <laughs> so if a bear jump out and attack you, you see what I mean, bro? Like, I just can't, bro. I can't. Oh. Lots of lobster. Look at this. This is a gold mine, man. The shells are great, you know, you throw them into a pot of water and all the meat will boil right out. You can't use that. Do not use that. There's no way he's gonna use that. It looked like he using that. I just, I'm sick. And I'm all for never being wasteful, right? It's it's literally something I grew up on. We work hard for our money, da 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 da, da. I get it. In this case, the food's already been uh, ran through. A lot of trains have ran through this food, right? A lot of people have had their pleasures of eating it. Now it's in the, the gutters of the trash can, and here you go, picking slop up and putting it in other bags of slop to then boil the slop for it to turn into slop. It's not gonna clean it. Like, I know bacteria just is eradicated from boiling things, right, typically. But in this case, that's not touching my mouth. I might get a little bump right there. Oh, I hope the people who eat this just are still alive. I hope nobody eats it. He could just do this as an example. It don't, it don't gotta go down nobody's throat. When I pick up a discarded shell, I'm seeing all kinds of meat. I'm seeing things that weren't eaten within that lobster. Wonder that are extremely valuable. Bro, I will literally throw up. This how people j just die, bro. Y'all you, you notice how people drop. Y'all know this. Like, I don't think the meat is at, like the main source of meat on the lobster has already been gone. Any extra meat you're cooking is just like remains. It's not a dish. You can't turn nothing into something if you never had shit to begin with. And I don't think there's meat on the, t like it's, 
it's dirt and bugs and just <laughs> <laughs> well, especially when you're paying, what, $30, $35 a pound at least? Look at this. I mean, who leaves the table like this? Wow. Girl, what the f And And that right there, and that might, ooh, that might get you hit. That might get you punched. And I'm not even violent. But shit like this just turned my arms into weapons. You ate it on camera for what? What did you get out of eat, like, Okay, sure, that lobster probably had a little bit more meat than the rest of, in, in, the, in the bag. You shoved it down your throat to prove what point. So if you get sick on your episode and you in the hospital on that last clip, I'm not going to feel an ounce of bad. You had every opportunity not to do that and you still gobbled it. Would y'all do that? This is, this is a perfect chance to really know from my lovely, lovely community. Would you guys personally ingest something like that? Nope. Exactly, no. And if anybody said yes, congratulations for being the odd ones out. You ain't got no friends from that. No, 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 no status points. That was just a filthy move. Delicious. No, it's not, it's not delicious. You, it's, that's a lie. That's a blatant lie. It's a lie. There, there's, there's, there's just no way. Is it? Cause like y'all, he's still eating it. I don't know. I'm starting to get scared. I might, I might just shut the episode. I might shut it off. Cooking instructor Ron Maestri runs a class called Gourmet Meals on a fast food budget. <laughs> Wonder who came up with that name. I don't know. Hopefully his stomachs don't start bubbling during the course. You know, I'm if I'm front row center, I'm trying to learn a piece and I hear something rumbling. Thoughts would start to spiral. I don't know. I don't know. I really hope you don't get sick. That would be very funny. Very funny if just something started bubbling. For $40, students can learn how to make meals for next to nothing. Six people are coming to the cooking class. Well, I'm not gonna lie, for 40 bucks, that already sounds like a scam. That's <laughs> it's not the best way to advertise it, no? Because think about it. If next to nothing, we're gonna learn how to cook, pretty much no pricing point behind our dishes that we're gonna learn. Why am I paying $40 to be in here? If anything, this should have just been a course out of the kindness of your heart. Not something I'm then gonna pay my hard earned money for. I have all of my students participate and serve them the dinner. Please don't tell me that's that bootleg ass wine you got from the curb of that trash. I know those students not about to drink that. Ain't that a lawsuit? I'm not sure how the law works, but you can you can you can definitely sue. You could sue for that. You could sue. I'd sue. That we all prepare. Hey, how are you? Hello. Welcome. Grab a glass of wine. Make yourself comfortable. I feel like I'm witnessing a murder, like a murder mystery. This is this is actually starting to turn the tables. If he drink that and drop to the floor, I gotta shut the episode off, y'all. I'm not I'm not trying to get sued by no network. Oh, there's no way he's gonna drink that. Hi, welcome. Have a glass of wine. All right. Well, thank you guys for being here today. Um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna create a really great dish that. Hold on. There's like four people in there. Y'all paying forty dollars for that? Like this is it? This is all that boiled down to? Like what was the point? <laughs> I feel so sorry for these folks. Oh, Lord have mercy. Wow. To really think they have spent money on a course to pretty much sign up for a death wish is beyond me. I would have never left the house if I knew that. One in a box. I could turn any cheap wine into a fine wine. This is actually a hyper decanting process. You hey, ain't nobody, that, that don't even make sense. Whatever he even started to just abruptly say to describe the wine mixture he just made is a false accusation. I don't even believe it. Because to have this level of just like simpleness and like nothing above that, nothing below that, it's one thing to be cheap, ladies and gentlemen, but it's also another thing to be delusional. And this is very heavily just within that realm, right? Like other people should not be s just forcefully like groped into your delusions. If you're feeding me wine that you decided to find and you deem to be safe and healthy to drink because we don't know where it came from off the curb of that sidewalk. Now you trying to shove it down my throat during a $40 course I paid for your ass to teach me how to cook for nothing? Make it make sense. Like, I know I'm not crazy, bro. Ain't nobody drinking that shit. And you keep trying to feed the, you keep trying to really feed your class this wine. But somebody gonna sue your ass. Then you're not gonna be able to sit and marinate your cheeks on that carpet with your toes out in that house eating them dry ass eggs. At some point, you're gonna have to get up, put some socks and shoes on with some undies and go to that courthouse when somebody say, this motherfucker tried to kill me in my course.
But I digress, because apparently, like, nobody wants to listen to me. Y'all already have no trust in me because I ain't been posting. Like, I'm just, I'm really, I'm really just in the shits right now. I am, and I can't do nothing about it. I'm gonna just let him talk. Like, I'm over this. Wine, any inexpensive wine, and pour it into the blender. Like, look at that. about 30 seconds, and it will take any inexpensive wine and will make it taste expensive. Really nice. Oh yeah, he lying. See, this is what I be talking about. Y'all just be too passive. I really would. I I'm just the type of person who you will never see me just overly sit in front of somebody's face and just lie to them like that. He know that why it tasted like straight ass. I'm not gonna lie, just to make him happy. He came in with a cart full of just objects, and that's and that's what y'all going for. I'm about to turn this off. I don't even want to finish it. I I I I I I. I, I. <sighs> That's excellent. That is really good. So how cheap a wine can we actually go? I spent nothing for this wine. Got it out of the trash can. And so no one's so no one's gonna get sued. No one's gonna get sued. Like there's no like 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 there's just no there's no way. There's there's no way that Okay, I only, I, oh my goodness, bro. Somebody gonna drop. I just can't wait. I cannot wait to see the first heart attack. I can't, I can't. I wanna see it. I wanna see destruction. I do, I do. We are in so deep right now. Okay, everybody. Now we're gonna start first with this stock that I created. And as you can see, I've got the lobster shells in here. Um, why don't you each open up one of those cans of tuna fish? Now for this, I would not recommend tuna fish in oil. This is a very bad way to go about it. I'm just, I'm just really sitting in here soaking this all up. This is a very, very poor way to go about convincing people to save money when it comes to etiquette like kitchen etiquette and just food and like, you know, at the beginning he said he was a foodie. To not have a refrigerator says a lot. I don't think you're a foodie. I think you're just hungry. All right, everybody, now take your tuna fish and dump it into the strainer. What we're gonna be doing is a version of lobster thermidor. Um, but what happens if you can't afford lobster? We're gonna replace the meat with tuna. Or just get the money and then spend it on lobster. Like, y'all be acting as though everything is evil or the government trying to... Bro, if you just don't got it, you just don't got it. And you just might have to eat a bowl of cereal at night. That's what I had to do growing up. Y'all act like y'all don't have alternatives. If you cannot afford a lobster, you're just not going to be eating lobster, evidently. To wrap your mind into different ways to try and go around it, of course, those options are available. But in this case, he literally is teaching a class, made them pay $40, and is making them eat his scraps that he chose to find at the beach. Like, is, is this making sense to y'all? And now, if they all drop dead on this episode, y'all going to be looking at me like I'm crazy because I put the clips up on the internet. But this is storyline. Like... <laughs> Bro, like, I'm just, I can't do this shit no more, bro. This is the last one. I'm not doing no more TLC shit. Like, what do y'all take me for? Like, this is, I might punch my screen, bro. This is a real easy, simple way to do this. Like, and what? And I'll bet you no one will know the difference. Lobster costs at least $30, $35 a pound. My lobster costs about 59 cents a can. No, it costed nothing. You went to the curb. Picked up a bag of slop and threw that shit in the basket. For you to sit up there and lie, like he's lying, bro. And then look at that smile, just so deceitful. The, and, and people like this walk around Earth. That's crazy. That That is just such a sinister, that is, that's bad. That's very scary. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. I don't think I've never met somebody this low to the ground. Like y'all really got me fucked up on this clip. I can't do this. Like I'm genuinely starting to go crazy, bro. Madness is just filling me. Like bro, you just lying, bro, on the camera. You just lied to all them people, bro. I feel so bad for them. Shit, I might take them to a lobster dinner. That's, that's, that, that's how bad I feel. I want to spend my hard earned money and take them to a lobster dinner because they deserve it. They do. They, they really do, y'all. Be fair. Boiling tuna with the lobster stock infuses the tuna with the lobster taste. We have our mustard. Notice they're mustard packets. Mustard, ketchup, salt, pepper, sugar. I got these free at any restaurant. I, I just, you know, to be honest with you, <laughs> oh, y'all might really hate me for this one. I actually do feel sorry for those people who pay $40 for that class, because to be quite frank with you, they 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 look they they don't really know too much better either. If I walked in there and saw all that on display, them flimsy ass ketchup packets and that and that and and in that tuna on that bowl, I'm I'm gonna leave. Like I'm gonna leave the class. I personally wouldn't want to take the course because I feel like I've been deceived. But for them to stick it out to the man because they did invest the forty dollars, I give it to them. I do. And I really don't wanna make it seem like I'm gonna pin it on them. Because as the director of the class, 
For him to do what he did, that's on him, ladies and gentlemen. His karma will evidently come back to him in time. I'm going to shut up. Being involved made a big difference because everyone can see just how simple it is to do. I'm going to put these into the oven, and um, we'll be ready to serve in five to seven minutes. You know, it smells like it, looks like it. And we're going to find out if it tastes like it. You know, I actually take back everything I said, you guys. The food actually does really look good. Hopefully, when it comes out of the oven, it, it looks um, edible. Because I love food. I'll possibly take a nibble. Take a take a nibble at it, a bite. Ah, I'll, I'll, I'll do something like that. Ah, yeah, no problem. Like, look at that. Look at them. They hungry as hell. Ain't nobody eating that. Oh my gosh, it's dead. One, two, three. The, is the lobster dead? <laughs> like, bro, look. This entire meal cost us less than $5 total. What we've done is we've created lobster thermidor that cost less than a couple of dollars each. You've created lobster thermidor or whatever it's called. You created that. You didn't even have enough material to let the class actually participate. We just saw you make the scraps you chose to make and you just wanna have an excuse to use somebody else's stove to cook it, to eat your dinner. And now you forcing them to eat your dinner. Like what, you thought that was gonna slip right past me? I found that out from the jump. It's very ironic. You have your own course. This course is set up so you can eat your dinner. They just so happen to pay you a little coin out of their pocket to participate because they wanted to learn something and you deceived them. Bon appetit. <laughs> I ain't never filmed a uh, damn TLC video this long. This I've damn near been filming for an hour. I quit. I quit. I, I genuinely quit. If you ever see me watch a video like this again, send help on God. Like, I can't, bro. I quit. Very good. Very Look good. at him. Wow. Look at him. I enjoyed this dinner actually a lot. It didn't have no strong fish taste to it. It didn't taste like tuna at all. I was picking off the side of the street. You really just have to know what you're looking for. Like, I'm, I'm, bam, fucking boozled. And they just still eating the slop. Like, bro, look at this. As far as the um, shells go, I got the lobster tails from a dumpster. There it is. There I it is. To a seafood restaurant and picked out all the lobster tail. Yeah. Yeah, you might get sued, bitch. You literally sat up there and waited until after they ingested and drank these things to then tell them, oh, well, well turns out, guys, I actually picked up the scraps from the... You, you can't do that, bud. I'm so terribly sorry. You cannot just go around doing that. Everything that I did was not unsanitary. Does it change the way it tastes? No, no. I mean, it's really good. It's got a strong seafood taste, but it's not overpowering. Right. They're buying it. I'm turning off my camera. On like I'm, 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 I genuinely do not want to hear nothing else. That's it. That's I'm, 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 I. Got so upset and shut off the whole recording. Now I don't even know if the video saved. But either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I've never suffered like this a day in my life. This was so ridiculous. If you just so happen to want to subscribe, again, I would truly appreciate it. I won't force you because at this point, I just, I get it. I understand. Again, thank you guys for tuning in, checking out the channel, subscribing if you did. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.